Oh, so cool. It was awesome to see just an opportunity for all these kids, a lot of them the first time in Tiger Park, and just really thankful that Baton Rouge came out so strong today. I think they had a huge difference in the game, especially that first inning. Um, it was cool. My daughter and her class were there in the in the front row and, you know, giving it to them just the way we asked them to. So it was a fun atmosphere here at Tiger Park today. We're very grateful for Baton Rouge showing up. Talk about that approach to get to her so early and to, to execute the plan that y'all had. How proud are you of the, of the batters? Yeah, Howard, Bryce, Sandra had a really good plan. They worked really hard on it, and our team has done such a good job of, we call it staying on script, just buying into what they're asking them to do, staying on script, attacking the pitches they're supposed to attack. Um, they've been so bought in, so that's been really fun to see, and they executed the plan perfectly. As a pitching coach, just not a lot of strikeouts today. I mean, that was, that was interesting. You could just kind of see everybody putting in play, you, you them, everybody. Yeah, I mean, Sid gets a ton of strikeouts considering what type of pitcher she is, honestly. Like, a lot of times you don't see a ton of strikeouts from a drop ball pitcher. I think she exceeds every expectation there. So to see one of the top teams in the country just continue to hit ground balls is almost expected. Um, I, I truly, even though they scored runs, never felt like there was a moment where they really got to her. Um, that's why I stuck with her as long as I did. I thought, you know, they were just continuing to hit ground balls in the wrong places, it felt like, and um, we're really confident in her, so we just stuck with her. Yeah, just talking to the girls, the thing that – they keep talking about is the belief, I guess, in each other and, and the connectivity. Is, is that something that sets this team apart right now? I think the big thing is just understanding that it's not about one hero and it's about a 26-person team. Um, I think the big key, too, is it's a team offense. You know, I talked about it at Kentucky. We're in a tight game and our 3-4 hole takes walks right there. They don't try to have the big swing. They just do what's best for the team. I think it's a team offense. It's, um, you know, we played really good team defense together and our pitching staff has been solid. So um, it's definitely a deep team a team that likes to play together. But I think a big change is just the focus on team offense and not individual offensive players. Sierra Daniel obviously had a really great game today. Just what have you seen from her, her being a freshman coming in to the lineup and having a – kind of take a big role on this team. Yeah, she's been huge. I mean, I told her after the game, we, we nominate players. I nominate her and told her, if they don't crown you the SEC Freshman of the Week, you're it in my book. I'll put the crown on your head. I think, um, you know, she deserves to be recognized for what she's accomplished for this team. Um, and I think she just continues to do every single thing we ask her to do. It's incredible the amount of trust and belief she has in this program. Is just such a young player. Um, she does anything we ask of her. If you scored five runs in the first inning, how do you think that's set up precedent for the rest of this team? Yeah, I think for sure that set the tone. You know, I think they came out big, um, had a huge crowd. I think that probably surprised them at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday to see a crowd that big. So I'm sure it was a little bit shocking. Um, I think, you know, they had a hand in the beginning too. And then our offensive staff just had such a great plan that was well executed by our team. Cindy said that you and her talked a little bit as the game was going on, having open discussions. And that kind of helped her get better as the game went on, retiring her last 10 batters. What did you and her kind of see that you think – Led to the success. Well, we won with her idea. I mean, at the end of it, we won with her game plan for the last three innings. Um, kind of threw the book out, and we did what we're not supposed to do and went off script, but um, kind of threw the book out and went with her plan. And it, at the end of the day, it's their game. Like, I, I had a career and I'm done. Like, this is their game. And if that's what she feels confident in, I would much rather go down with her believing in something than me believing in something. So um, that's a big reason why I have those conversations with the pitchers after every um, half inning, just to see what they're seeing and what she was seeing with her eyes was right on and I was bought into it and the, you know flip it flip the coin there it's time for me to buy into her um, and we did exactly what she wanted and uh, would she give up one more hit maybe um, so it was really really effective. It's interesting because I remember last year after Oklahoma you were saying that you had a script of when you're going to switch your pitchers when you're going to rotate them out and you kind of showed that trust to her today. Have you felt that growth between the two of you from freshman year to sophomore year? Yeah, I think, you know, just in game, she's so easy to manage. Um, we have a ton of dialogue in practice, and some of it is difficult at times, you know, but I think that leads us to be in a great spot in games. I think part of the reason why we can have those conversations in game is because we work so hard in practice to try to get on the same page and execute plans, and um, she's really special. Like, you can give me a list of every pitcher in this country, and I'd pick that one if I could choose any one. Like, she is extremely special. Um, I just think she can do so many things, and her career is still in the early stages here. We're going to see such great things from her we already have. Can you hold this, this win in any higher regard than any of the other wins this season or is it kind of all just the same? 
Uh, this is a big one. I think this is a really big one. I mean, that's a really good team, really talented team that has had huge wins and played well. I mean, obviously, it was a super competitive game. So um, I, I, this is a big one. I mean, I think it's our highest ranked win. So I think this one is going to mean a lot to us. Uh, I think it's going to mean a lot down the stretch when we're trying to host regionals, super regionals. Like, this is a big one. And um, it's a really talented team on the other side of the field today. So I think it was a big test, and we passed. Does Ole Miss help get their attention right back on where it needs to be and not linger on this too much? Yeah, I mean, we have to show up against Ole Miss or everything we did today is gone. Yeah. You know, I think, um, and Ole Miss will bring us plenty of challenges. Like, every team in the SEC is talented, and, you know, they're coming off a big win against Mississippi State. So, I mean, every single team in the SEC will bring a host of challenges. It is a um, day-in, day-out grind to play in the SEC. So, and if we don't show up against Ole Miss, then a lot of this, and not, not all of it, but a portion of this is negated. So, um, we have to show up this weekend. Talk to Taylor a little bit about this, but I mean, nobody knows how hard you work at this other than you and your girls, but just to kind of feel like it's right right now. <laughs> Um, I mean, personally, I've really just I've known how special this team is since the fall. Um, so I think this year I've made a, just a lot of sacrifices to just be as locked in as possible for them. Um, just trying to eliminate the distractions. My, my kids probably hate it because I have missed a lot of gym meets and swim meets. And, you know, I was showing Tara pictures yesterday and I'm like, I wasn't at any of these events, but um, it was cool. But I think I've just really tried to be locked in for this group because I understood how special they were and just not let my focus slip away from them at any moment. Kelly Lynch delivering that double in the first. How big was that? And you can speak about her at the plate so far this year. It's kind of been a I wouldn't say unexpected, but a nice addition to the lineup. Well, it was expected for us because when we recruited her and tried to beg and plead and, you know, want her to be a part of this thing, we knew we needed a right-handed offense and we knew she was a great hitter. So it was always a huge factor in why we wanted her here. And the day Kelly Lynch decided to be a Tiger was a big day for us. It changed this whole season, what she's been able to do on the mound, the depth she's given us as a right-handed hitter in this lineup. Um, she is a special player. Like, I hope at the end of this year she gets all the accolades that she's deserved for her whole career because she's really special. Y'all had a few more errors than normal against Kentucky, but y'all came out of today almost with perfect defense. Um, what changed? Um, it was, I don't even remember the errors right now, honestly. So, um, but it was 32 degrees and we were in survival mode in Kentucky. So um, I was just thrilled we walked out of there with a sweep. Um, it was a really, really tough series to play with the rain and the cold um, and the delays. So um, I, I was really happy to walk out of Kentucky the way we did. And I felt like a survivor to get out of there with three wins. Do you think that having Corley Petty back was... Nice. Carly Petty is a game changer for us, and Maddox McKee did a great job. I mean, she, you're still going to see her a ton. She had that bat today. Um, she's a great player, and she did a great job. But um, you, it's hard to replace the, you know, veteran feel of a five-year college softball player and Carly Petty and what she brings to this team. I mean, her offensive numbers are off the chart. Just the way she's – She's the hype man on our defense. Like, she's just for everybody. She's always cheering and celebrating her teammates. Like, she's for us all the time. Her and Sid Evan and Burzon have such a great relationship, too. Um, so it's nice to have her back out there, just her presence, her veteran feel. So um, it is big to have her back.